you go through Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 7, he said, Your country is desolate, your cities are born with fire. He said, Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. Uh -uh. He said, Why do you allow strangers to devour your land in your presence? You are there and you are seeing strangers going away with your things, cutting away with your belongings. They are going with your family in your presence. And he said, Thy daughters is left as a cottage in the vineyard and as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers. You need they turn our female, they turn our guests into a gardener walking in the garden of cucumbers. They are the one going to plant, they are the one harvesting as a besieged city. I don't know which of this family here tonight that you are living like a city that is under siege. That you are living like a city that your daughters are the one planting. Your daughters are being turned to slaves. And your sons are the one clearing the cottage. I have come to tell you tonight that tonight as we pray this Isaiah's prayer, that your families are liberated in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Look at what Isaiah did. Isaiah got to a particular point. Look at what verse 8 said. Verse 8 said, let me point you into what you can do. And verse 8 pointed them into what they can do. He said, except the Lord of hosts and left us a far small remnant. He said, look at it. We, it it's only the Lord God of hosts that we need to run to. He said, we should have been as Sodom. Is that because the Lord, it, it, let me tell you what is happening here. I hope you are listening tonight. He was telling them that I have a confidence and this is the confidence I have. The fact that we are not being consumed like Sodom. The fact that we are not being taken away like Gomorrah. It means that the Lord has left off with some remnants. And Isaiah is saying that that remnant that the Lord has left off with, let us use it. He said, uh -uh. They, they came to cry unto him. They said, look at your daughter. He's been left behind in cottage. Look at all of them. They are the ones taking care of the cucumbers in the gardener. And look at your city is under siege. Then in verse 9, as I have said, let us look at what has happened. He said, but I, I can discern as a prophet. Except the Lord of us had left us as a very small remnant. Is that for the Lord God of hosts to have left us with this remnant, it means that there's something we need to do. Then they now came together. They said, let us pray. They prayed again. And he said, you need the air pass from on high. And that is why we are praying tonight. And our prayer tonight centers around air pass from on high. Go to prayer point number one. The prayer said, Heavenly Father, send us, send us your ambassador. <laughs> Blow the trumpet in Zion. Let them act with swift speed. Let them act with swift speed to the nations and lift me up as an ensign unto the mountains. Lift me up as an ensign to the mountains. And lift me up as an ensign to the mountains, O oh Lord. They came, they said, There is a remnant. There is a leftover. There is something that we can do. And they all gathered together and prayed. They said, Heavenly Father, send us your ambassadors. Send us people that can set us free. Blow the trumpets in Zion. Let them know that we need deliverance. Let them know that we need people that can set us free. And let them act with speed swiftly to the nations. And lift me up as an ensign. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I have said, this is how we can do it. If if we have been taken captive, if they have taken away our daughters to work as slaves, as prostitutes, and yet they are still using them in the gardener, I mean in the garden. And if our our city is under siege. There is what we need to do. Let us hold our hands together. And they prayed. And they prayed. And the Lord said, Okay, I'm going to send you ambassadors. 
I'm going to send you ambassadors. Who are they? I'm going to send you people that will come and deliver you. I said tonight, in case you have been praying and praying, Isaiah said there is still a remnant. There is still something in your body. There is still something God left there. And my prayer tonight is that the ambassadors will show forth for you. In the name of Jesus. After Isaiah prayed, Isaiah again, another thing happened again. Go to Isaiah 32 verse 4. Another thing happened again. Isaiah 32 verse 4. They saw another thing that happened again. Rako Salabaria. Rekaraba Sote Yigada. Maroka Ruskelidaba. Okay. Verse 4. Something happened in verse 4. I said, uh, Eden places with, you know, it, okay, okay. He said, A covert of ten times as rivers of water in dry place as a shadow of great rock in the weary land then when they got to verse 15 that is where i'm going I, I, let us quickly jump to verse 15. verse 15 said because the palaces shall be forsaken the multitude of the city shall be left the fort and the tower shall be for them he said if you have a palace it can be forsaken if you are not careful the fort and the towers of the gate shall be dense forever. Meaning that the house can be occupied by rabbits. The house can be occupied by, by chicken, by fowls. Because it was once a palace. But something left that palace. And suddenly the house became a place for rodents. The house became where grass can grow. Something that used to be a palace before. Suddenly, Bible said that it becomes a joy for wild axes. Meanwhile, sheep, cattle are now the ones living. Something that used to be a palace before. But verse 15 now said there is a solution. Verse 15 said this is the solution. Until the spirit be poured from upon high, the wilderness will be a fruitful field. And the fruitful field shall be counted as forest. If the, if, if the spirit from on high is not there, the palaces will be forsaken. The place will be abandoned and it will become a place where sheep, rams, and goats are living. I pray tonight that your palace will not be forsaken. I pray tonight that where you occupy, it will not be territories for sheep, for flocks, for white animals to begin to live. I pray tonight that you will not live, you will not be driven out of your palace. In the name of Jesus. Then they now ask Isaiah what is the solution. He said go to Isaiah 5.26. There is a solution there. You know we are praying the book of Isaiah tonight. Isaiah 5.26. There is a solution there. You know that problem happened in Isaiah 32. But he told them that for you to do it. Go back. There is a strategy we use. He said, we have used that strategy before and it worked. Isaiah 5 26. He said, there is a strategy that must be used. Look at it. He said, this is how you will pray. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from afar. And he will ease unto them from the end of the half. Behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. Look at what God is saying. I will lift up an answer, meaning that I will make you like a post, like a like a signboard. I will turn you into a poster. I will now lift you up. When I lift you up, supposing you are driving to Tomeland Bridge, there is no billboard there that you will not look at. He said, I will not stop there. After lifting you up like a signpost, look at what I will do. I will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. He is it means that I will not blow with you. I will say, look at this thing I'm lifting up. Can't you see that I'm lifting up somebody here? Can't you see that I'm lifting up Mrs. Bosse? Can't you see that I'm lifting up Mrs. Sarah? He said, and look at what the Lord said that we will do. He will do three things. First, he will lift you up. Second, second, he will not blow trumpet. He will hiss. So it means to do, you know, when you do, somebody will look back. 
and say, Who are you doing that for? He said, I will ease unto them. After lifting you up, I will now ease. Ease is like blowing trumpet. Ease is like I'm not going to advertise you that are you people not seeing the person I'm lifting up? Look at what he said. And the Bible said, Don't worry. Behold, they will come with speed swiftly. They will come with speed swiftly. Meaning that they will come to your rescue. They will come Amen. to your assistant. Go to prayer point number two tonight. Amen. Go to we have come to draw tonight. Go to prayer point number two. He said, Father, send your reaper agents across the harvest feet of the world, drafting nations unto me. Send your reaper agents. Send your reaper agents. Send your reaper agents across the harvest feet of the world. Drafting nations unto me. And when they come, grant me knowledge to sustain them. Grant me knowledge to sustain them. In Jesus' name we pray. The, the Lord said that somebody here, a new a new kind of business is coming that you need you need wisdom to sustain it. Amen. Look at me. This prayer is for you. He said you need wisdom to sustain this line of business I want to give you. And that's why you are praying the prayer. You see, look at look at how the Lord compress it together. I will first start by lifting you up. After lifting you up like a signboard, I will now hiss. I will tell people that are blind. I will hiss on people that cannot see. Even the ones that are deaf. I will say, look at this person I'm lifting up. Look at him. And he said, they will now come and meet you with speed swiftly. They will come for your rescue. They will come for your assistance. You see, look at this prayer. He said, he said Father, send your reaper agents. Reaper agents are those ones they will go, they will go into all the other speed of the world. They will go into all the other speed of the world. Drafting nations unto me. Send your reaper agents. Send your reaper agents into all the other speed of the world. Send your reaper agents. Send your reaper agents into all the other speed of the world. Drafting multitude. Drafting multitude unto me. And when they come, grant me the knowledge to sustain them. Grant me the wisdom to sustain them. Send your reaper agents. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you know what reaper agents in Yoruba they call it Angeli Olukore? Angeli Olukore. You know, they are the reaper agents. What they will do? They will allow the harvest to be right. They will now go there, harvest everything for you, and bring it to you. Those are the that is the portion of those reaper agents. They are also called reaper angels too. If if you like, you can call them reaper angels. They will go into the harvest field. They will draft them and bring them unto you. But the second leg of the prayer said, Lord, give me knowledge to sustain it. One thing is to have harvest. Another thing is to have sustenance. Tonight, I said double dose is coming unto you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, the Lord spoke to me again too. He spoke somewhere. He said, I'm sending reaper agents unto people. But there's somebody, there's somebody here, the Lord said, the Lord said, you are still drinking and you are still smoking. Uh, that you are still drinking and you are still smoking. The Lord said it. But the Lord, the, what the Lord said, I should give you this verse, Exodus nineteen eighteen. He said uh, that that verse is for you. He said you are still smoking and you are still drinking. But the Lord gave me the person's name. I'm going to call the person after this prayer. You know, the Lord gave me the person's name. That you are still drinking and you are still smoking. In fact, you are doing it thinking that apostle will not know. Unfortunately, Apostle has known now. You understand? But the Lord now said, Exodus 19, 18 is for you. Let me read it for you. He said, Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke. Look at it. He said, Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke because the Lord has descended on it in fire. And the smoke rose like the smoke of a furnace. It rose like the smoke of a furnace. 
and the whole mountain quake violently and i was asking god what is the meaning of that for that person he said tell that person that if you want mountain to quake before you if you want him to answer you now he said you should quit up you should quit that smoking well, whether whether you are whether you are hiding under medical whatever recommendation, it's a lie. There's nothing like medical. You know, I I mean all those all those Americaners and uh, and uh, and all those people they hide under those things. They will say doctors recommended that as you smoke. I tell you tonight, the Lord is saying if you can stop between now and December, He said I will send Reaper agents to you, Reaper agents to you, in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, there's one of oh, there's one of my sisters here. Please quickly, this this prophecy is for you. The Lord said there is a trap they are setting for you in the court. In the court, there is a court case coming. I mean, that my sister knows. I will call you after the prayer. There is a court case coming, and the Lord said there is a trap they are setting for you. And the Lord said that the Lord said that what you need to do, what you need to do is to go and get a superior lawyer. I hope that my sister is not in Nigeria. Though this prophecy is for you. I'm going to call you shortly. He said, he said, the Lord said, tell her, I had to write it down when he was speaking to me. Tell her that she should go and get a knowledgeable lawyer so that you can run away from that trap. And that victory will be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, before we go tonight, look at something that happened. Isaiah 37 2. You know, I told you we were praying Isaiah tonight. Isaiah 37 verse 2 Isaiah 37 verse 2 Something happened to them again They went through another problem They went through another problem Isaiah 37 verse 2 Rakush keli dabaria Rando i like us to pray with understanding tonight There must have been something Isaiah did well That made God to answer him Isaiah 37 Look at verse 2 they sent a messenger and he sent Eliakim who was over the household, the Shebna, the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet. You know, do you know the meaning of that? They came to Isaiah, all of them wore sackcloth. They came to the prophet of God, they were in disarray. They, you know, anytime the king is in trouble, those days they will send for the oracle they will send for the abalis they will say abalis come and throw in your what do they call that thing now throw in your beads on the floor let your oracle speak let us know why we are going through this disarray but this one this one do you know what they did they got themselves in sackcloth and they came to isaiah what was their complaint they said and they said unto him thus said ezekiah that the king have sent us to you this is the day of trouble uh -uh. the king sent a messenger to the prophet telling the prophet that today is a day of trouble today is a day of distress he rebuked what is happening he said our children come to a point of birth and they have no strength to deliver hmm. they brought a message a message to isaiah and they came together in sackcloth. They were wearing sackcloth. And immediately Isaiah saw them. The prophet knew that something is wrong. He said, what is the matter, my people? They said, oh, prophet, the king sent us to you. What happened? Our children are in distress. Our children are, they are in total disarray. We are about to be disgraced. Anytime they want to give birth, they do not have strength to deliver and because of that they died and the children in their womb died you know it became a serious problem as i am go if you go to verse 15 you will see what happened in verse 15. anytime people face challenge they always resolve into prayers anytime they face verse 15 said and ezekiah prayed unto the lord ezekiah prayed unto the lord what was his prayer he said, Oh, the Lord of hosts, God of Israel, hear the words now. Heal our land. And do you know what happened? Mm -hmm. 
you will, before the end of that chapter, before the end of that, I mean the entire book of Isaiah, if you go to Isaiah 66 verse 8, he now said, the Lord answered them. How oh, did the Lord answer them? They used to go to a point of delivery and they used to have issues when they are giving birth. They used to go to the point of delivery. They will lose their children. They will lose the pregnancy. But Isaiah 68 now said, if you go to Isaiah 68 verse 8, after they have prayed, he said, who had had such a thing before? Who has seen such thing before? We have never seen it before. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? What we have seen, for as soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth her children. They don't used to bring forth their children before. They used to die. But something now happened. They gathered together. They held their hands and they begin to pray. I pray tonight. If you are at the verge of losing any pregnancy, oh, if there's anybody close to you that is, I mean, I'm not talking about only physical pregnancy now. I'm talking about the spiritual, all the ideas inside of you that you used to lose before. Effective from today, let your idea begin to come out effortlessly. In the name of Jesus. Uh-uh. You see what happened? Go to that prayer point number three. As we round up tonight, they went back to use the ancient approach. They went back to use the ancient strategy. Before, when their children enter into labor, they will lose their children and they will lose the pregnancy. But they now went back to the ancient strategy. And the Lord said, No, who has seen this thing before? As soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth her children. Tonight, as you oh. travel in prayer, may you begin to bring those ideas that you used to lose before. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know why this amen is not loud tonight because we are not praying down, fall down and die. I am praying that this idea that you have, this business strategy, this pregnancy inside of you, that you are losing every day, and I decree that tonight, let them begin to bring forth much fruit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Go, to prayer, go to prayer point number three before we round up. Oh Lord of hosts, God of Israel, hear ye all the words of reproach from Sennacherib, which he has sent to the living God. The king of Assyria too has led ways. Therefore, Heavenly Father, use the ancient approach to defend me. Use the ancient approach to defend me. Use the ancient approach to defend me. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We have two, we have two, more, we have two more minutes. Ezekiah prayed in verse 15. He said, and Ezekiah prayed. But when you get to verse 26, he said, he said, Had thou not had long ago how I have done it? Look at it. Underline how I have done it. How did I do it? What strategy did I use? He said, and of ancient times. Look at Rakaros Kabal. He said what? And of ancient times. I did it. I used the same ancient strategy. I used the same ancient way of saving my people. No wonder they said, no wonder they said, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ah, there's an ancient others ah, as old as you are. Magarabosa. As old as you are. Hey, Karaba. You will never change. They, 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 they asked him, how did you do it? He said, he said, he said, have you forgotten that I am the ancient king, ancient monarch that sit upon the king? 
I can you the same way I saved Moses is the same way I will save you. The same way I saved Ezekiah is the same way I will save you. I change it not. I change it not. Look at what he said. Look at what he said. Verse 15 said Ezekiah prayed. Verse 26 said, At 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 thou not had long ago? Have you not had how I did it? How I have done it? They now said, Lord, how did you do it long time ago? What approach did you use? He said, He said, and of ancient times. And of ancient times. He said, the, ta- the approach that I use is called the ancient strategy. Because I am the ancient of days. Because, as, uh, because I can decide to save you the same way I saved Moses. I can decide to save you the same way I saved uh, Isaiah. The same way I saved Elijah. The same way I saved Abraham. I can use the same approach for you. And that is why I am called the monarch in Zion. That is why I am called the ancient king of all times. I am not old. I am not young. I, I cannot change. I am who I am. I decree tonight that the God called I am who I am is bringing you out of every reproach and he will defend his name in your life in the name of Jesus. You are telling God tonight, Heavenly Father, use the ancient approach to to defend me. Use the ancient approach to defend me. Ah, use the ancient approach. Use Arubojo Ewalo Eitemalo Nibani Olua. Use that ancient approach to defend me. Rakaro Palagara. I said, what strategy are you using? What method is this one called? How did you answer my prayer? He said, I am using the ancient approach. Rakaro Satayala. I am using the ancient strategy. I can deliver them. In Jesus' name, we pray. If if you don't if you don't know the style to use, then you, you do not you 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 wouldn't have knowledge on how God wants to solve it. They were they were having problem in verse two. Their children get to birth and they died. They will lose the pregnancy. They will lose their children. And they came together and said, Lord, what is happening here? What is going on here? Why 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 is our children dying in pregnancy? They now wore sackcloth to meet the prophet. And the prophet said, I know what to do. Let us pray. And in verse 26, in verse 26, he said, the pro- it, 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 it appears the prophet was asking God, what style, what style should we use? How, how will you save us? And in verse 26, he said, no, have you not had long ago? Have you not had long ago means right from the days of the Old Testament. Right from the days of Genesis. Have you not had long ago? He said, yes, I have had. What did you hear? How, how I use the ancient strategy. My God. It is the ancient style. You are praying to God tonight. The same way you saved Abraham. The same way you saved Easter, Esther. The same way you blessed Jacob. The same way you bless all those people, Lord. Use the ancient approach to defend me. Because you are the ancient of days. Ah. Therefore, Heavenly Father, I have come unto you tonight. Use the ancient approach to defend me. Because you are the ancient of days. You are the God of all times. You are the God that never fails. Ah. Use the ancient approach to defend me tonight. To defend me tonight. We have come to draw from you. The same way Moses drew from you. In Jesus' name, we Can you stretch forth your hand? Stretch forth your hand as we round up the prayer tonight. Can you stretch forth your hand? As we round up the prayer tonight, can you stretch forth your hand? Amma, can you stretch forth your hand? The Lord said, I want to use the Asian approach to defend you too. 
Can you, can you stretch forth your hand? We have come to draw from you the well of righteousness. We have come to draw from you the river that never runs dry. Oh, Ibo call him Osimiri Atata. Meaning that the river that never runs dry. Yorubas call him Agbomagbe. You keep drawing from it, you keep drawing from it, and it's inexhaustible. Lord, in our various languages, we have come to you now. Whether we call you Osimiri Atata, whether we call you Agbomagbe, we just know that you can use the ancient strategy of all time to deliver us. Mm -hmm. This, the same strategy you used to bless Abraham. The same strategy you used to defend Moses. The same strategy you used to defend Elijah. Lord, was it not the same strategy you used to, de to defend Isaiah when people came to him in sackcloth? We have come to you tonight with our prayers. We have come to you tonight like we always do. Lord, use your ancient strategy to defend us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said the same way that you deliver the people of old, the same way you deliver our great patriarch and matriarch of faith. Lord, the same approach, use it to defend us tonight in the name of Jesus. Ah, because you are a partaker of tonight's communion, you will not fail, you will not fumble, Amen. you will not falter. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Oh, can you jam? Can you jam those hands together for the Lord? Can you clap your hands for the Lord?